oh man, I can't breathe in that thing. Like, okay, like, I bought this when I was in middle school, I think, and it just fit perfectly, but, oh man, I can barely fit my head in this. Oh. Man, I don't know what to say. I guess we'll continue with the review, though. Halloween was directed by John Carpenter and stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance and is the classic Halloween film that we all know and love and of course follows the story of Michael Myers who was a mental patient at an institution who has escaped and returns to his hometown of Haddonfield to wreak havoc and kill once again that he did all those years ago. He begins to stalk babysitters, one of them being Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, while his psychiatrist, Dr. Loomis, hunts him down. I've been planning to do Halloween for a while now. Of course, I knew this had to be the final review of the October season, and it was really interesting going back to this movie after seeing the new 2018 movie. And what we got here is a really good solid film that I don't think lives up to classic material such as other great horror films but it's a really good film all the same yes I'm not gonna go out and say that this movie is a flawless film and just perfect in every single possible way it's not it is a very well crafted film with some problems and we'll get into those. First off though, I really want to talk about the positives and one of the big positives of this film is of course John Carpenter's cinematography. His films always look incredibly good and this film is no different. The film looks great. It's got such great atmosphere about it. Every scene just looks so good I specifically love the scenes of like people just walking down Pasadena <laughs> or should we say Haddonfield and um, just the leaves blowing and it just looks so good and it's also brought by some great music. John Carpenter's Halloween score is of course extremely iconic but the music is just incredibly good and really sets the mood and the tone very well. It just gives this eerie feeling that something terrible is happening. I also praise Jamie Lee Curtis in her role. She's extremely good. And I also have to, of course, praise Donald Pleasant's role. He is incredibly good in this film. He gives it his all, and he didn't have to. This is just a B-movie horror film. I mean, it's got a big... I mean, it's not like a big, huge blockbuster or anything, but, like, he didn't have to commit to the role like he did. He is very well and very believable in this film. I, of course, you know, love the scene when he's in the Myers house and... We hear him, of course, give that amazing speech about evil, and it's just so well done. That scene in particular is very well written, and Donald Pleasance sells it. I also love the horror elements. Michael Myers is a true force of nature in this film, and he's very creepy. And I love it that we have no motivation for him in this film. He's just killing because that's what he does. He kills. You don't need a big explanation for it. It's right there in front of you, and it's really creepy just seeing him stalk these people because the stuff happens in real life, too, and it's just really well done here. I love the opening scene of the film with that just very long POV shot of looking through Michael Myers' eyes as he kills his sister and walks through his house. It's very good, but my favorite moment is when um, Michael's parents come home and take off his mask, and we see that it's this child, 
and we pan away from it. It just looks so good and it just conveys so much. It's very disturbing too. Also, of course, the third act is really good, especially, of course, that classic ending of him still being out there as you hear him breathing, meaning he can be anywhere, and it leaves you with this uneasy feeling. And that's my positives for the film. Now, let me get into some of my negatives. I don't think the script works all the time, especially in the dialogue department. Characters such as PJ Soul's character and um, Annie's character, they are really bad. They're really badly written, I believe, and especially PJ Soul's having to say totally every five lines, every single line. She's just, it's not believable dialogue to me, and it just takes me out a little bit and it's just really annoying and awkward and I just think to myself if they're trying to convey how people actually talk this is not how they talk and it's a little distracting as well as a little bit of the overacting when it comes to um, Annie I can't remember her name but she just it's just the way she delivers her lines just doesn't feel real to me. It's really Jamie Lee Curtis of those girls that feels the most natural with what she's saying. She feels the most human, and that's probably why she's the one we're most attached to. There's a few mishaps here and there in terms of continuity, but that really doesn't detract from the film at all to the point where I just can't believe what I'm seeing anymore. It just kind of it doesn't break the reality enough. It's just kind of fun to pick at, like, scenes that, like, don't make a, a lot of sense, but it's not a big problem with the film. I don't think Halloween is as perfect as we all want to say it is. It's a very good movie with some great scenes and just great characters as well, but it does get bogged down by some problems with the acting and the dialogue a little bit, but it's not enough to really say that this is not a good film. This is a very good film that I watch every October because it just puts me in the mood, and I just really enjoy watching this film, even if I think it has a few problems here and there. So anyway, with all that said, I'm going to give Halloween a 7 out of 10. Well guys, I've really enjoyed this October just going through all these horror films, and it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to try to do this again next year with going through the 1970s to the 2010s, and also do another Halloween review where I'm going to review Halloween 2. So look forward to that next year. I know that's a while from now, but oh well, just wait for it. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got to say. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next review.